Good morning everybody and today on Easter Sunday you find me out on another little story. Now unfortunately today Lynn can't make it because she's got a bad leg so I've brought a replacement. This is Storm. This is Lynn's daughter, my stepdaughter. Today Storm, where are we? Swanbourne. Swanbourne. Yeah we are aren't we? And we are here because instead of doing your normal easter egg hunt we're gonna do a very strange ghost hunt instead aren't we we've had all our easter eggs so you know we've got all them that's all boring that's all out of the way so we thought today we'd come out and look for some ghosts instead didn't we yes right are you looking forward to it very right let's go and have a look shall we let's see yeah. you in a bit okay bye bye So this was the home of Thomas and Elizabeth Adams. And if you knew from the last story I did here, Thomas was murdered and his, what, his wife Elizabeth, known as the Green Lady, I told you that is haunts this church and the walk to it. Well, I presume she came up from the other side, but now finding out that she lived here, she must come here. Then she must have come across this road where she disappears into the bell tower apparently and comes out by Thomas's grave. And she used to visit twice a day until she eventually wasted away. So there we go. That's cleared up that bit of the story as well. Sometimes as well, she is seen walking across the road with a man in a cloak. Now that well may well be Thomas. And if you wanna know the story of Thomas who was murdered, and his grave in the church in St. Swithins, where I am today, then I'll leave that link at the end and you can watch that story. So here's a better view of Swanbourne, would have been Swanbourne Manor, which was the home of Thomas and Elizabeth Adam. It gets called an ugly house, but I think it's quite nice. Here's Storm, sitting on the bench, just waiting for me to arrive back. Now, you probably can't see it very well, but behind the trees there is Swanbourne House, which was built by Thomas Fremantle in the 18th century uh, for his, him and his wife, Betsy Wynn. And the pub up the road is called the Betsy Wynn. Now, there's a real lot of history behind the Fremantles and the Fremantles estate. Thomas Fremantle being a friend of Nelson's and um, they didn't actually live here for too long because the Fremantles had a ghost in in the house and his name was I assumed from what I'd read his name was Isaiah England but then I found out um, recently that from his gravestone when I'd found it that his name was Jeremiah England now he fell from the very ornate uh, roof which you can probably just pick out at the top of that um, house over there he fell to his death and he has been seen on many occasions and heard in the house so much so that the Fremantle family decided not to live here in the end and a hundred years ago they decided to lease it out as a preparatory school and um, it is a boarding school here um, probably quite an expensive one probably quite an expensive one I would imagine um, and it's now Swanbourne House School we're going to move on because apparently Jeremiah's grave is in the churchyard at St. Swithin's. So let's go there. Have you enjoyed your little ghost hunt this morning? Yes, I have actually. And what do I you do think? I love it. You do love it? Yep. Have you found it very interesting? Very interesting. Yeah, and what do you think of Swanbourne? Nice village? Nice village. Yeah, and you've sat in the churchyard and you enjoyed that, didn't you? Yes, I did. Yeah. Fantastic. Now, yeah. um, we're just going to go and look around the graveyard now, aren't we? Yeah, we are, yeah. So that will be the really boring bit out of the way. 
And then we're going to make our way into town where we're going to go to the works for some ice cream, aren't we? Yeah, that's right. Okay, darling. Well, let's get moving, shall we? We'll uh, plod on. I've been told that he is under a tree by the beautiful stone wall near the new houses. Now, I'm imagining. Now, isn't that funny? Because I found him, but his name is not Isaiah. It's Jeremiah. So this is the actual grave, look. It says, this stone was erected as a memory of respect by the fellow workmen of the late Jeremiah England stonemason who was killed by a fall from a scaffold at Swanbourne House on the 19th day of June, uh, I think it says 1864, aged 43 years. Now that's really good. I'm really glad we found that. Fantastic. But his name is Jeremiah, not Isaiah. So that's good. So that bit of information, it's, it's nice to have got that. Hi everybody. I hope you enjoyed that little video that Storm and I made this morning. And uh, if you did, if you could like and subscribe, I would be absolutely over the moon because it really does help. And with that, I only actually have popped on here because I realised that I didn't video an outro bit. So uh, I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching and see you on the next one. Thank you.